Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back. You're watching VR Gamer Dude and I'm Don. And today we're going to be taking a look at a Quest 2 head strap from Ogle Tear. It's their, their version of the Elite Strap. And, you know, I can't thank them enough for sending this out. I, you know, it is definitely sturdy. I mean, it's inside the packaging, but we're going to get into that here in a second. But uh, I can't wait to get it on there, so let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get in there and uh, take a look at this strap. So, alright, there's one, there's, ah, come on, get in there, there's two, and never cut towards you kids, ah, where's the seam? There's three. All right. So now that it's out of the package, let's go ahead and take a look at what was actually in there. So um, actually, first and foremost, a little addition. They, they do throw in a, a couple of silicon lens covers, and I thought that was kind of neat, kind of a funky purple color, but, you know, uh, yeah, I'll roll with that. Um, so thank you. Uh, that's, that's almost like a kind of like an extra gift that you get in the package. So um, on to the main parts here. So we've got our battery plate. Uh, this is meant to be expandable, uh, the little Velcro straps here on the back. Got some like kind of uh, rubber stoppers here to kind of keep your battery from sliding around. And it is very sturdy. I mean, you know, the one thing that struck me right off the bat, neither of these pieces feels in any way 3D printed or cheap. And, and, and I've got to, I got to say that, I mean, it's a very sturdy plastic, um, and, and this thing, it, it slots on there really good. I mean, it's like that thing is tight and it almost feels like it is meant to be on the back of that head strap. So, uh, very, very nice design choice there. I, I do like that. Now, one thing I got to compliment them on also is, is the, this is the action of this is very smooth. It, it's not, I, I reviewed a similar strap a couple of months ago and it, it it is very clunky. It's very clicky and, and sometimes it feels like it slips a gear or something. I don't know. But this one so far, smooth as butter and then and, and that feels really strong. I don't feel it trying to strip out or anything like that. So, um, you know, as far as the padding, I think it could be a little bit thicker in the back. Um, it, I don't know. I, I like to feel like I'm encased in a pillow. Um, th this, it, it definitely looks breathable um, and it is soft, so jury's out until we actually get it on the headset there. Um, and then the top strap here, I do like a little bit of a wider top strap, but that's easily fixed. So uh, top strap seems nice and sturdy as well. So I can't wait to slip this on the Quest 2 and uh, take it for a test drive. So let's go. So I've already stripped my Quest 2 down to nothing here. Uh, just take the strap right off, it just slides right off pop the facial interface off. So this thing should just go right on there and yeah, you can see it just slides right into place here and boom, it already makes my Quest 2 feel like super freaking sturdy. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and get the strap up through there and we'll get the facial interface back on and boom. So like I said earlier, smooth ratcheting there and man, all right. So definitely adds some weight. Uh, it definitely adds a little bit of weight, but that's a, gonna be a good thing because we're about to add a lot more weight by putting a battery back there so that it'll actually work as a counterbalance. So, all right, let's go ahead and test a few batteries. So uh, we got this anchor, which is a big daddy here. Uh, you know, I'm assuming we just slide it down in there and uh, strap her on down like so. There we go. Okay, now it's on there good and sturdy. Yeah, it's not falling out. So, all right, good hold on the Velcro. Um, now this one, I don't know, this one makes it a little top heavy. Uh, on the back side uh, because it is an enormous battery brick. So let's also try the smaller one. Once I can get this strap undone here. There we go. Oops, didn't want to pull those all the way out, but that's all right. We can just thread that right back through. There we go. There 
There we go. All right, so yeah, that battery seems like it is actually meant to go on the back of this thing. So that that is amazing. So, um, you know, last but not least, like I said, let's uh, see if the VR power could be mated to it in any way. So obviously that would strap on right there. And you know what? It does look like, look at that. It is gonna line up to where I could probably use these Velcro straps inside this Velcro strap and maybe have that Velcro strap go around. So the VR power will probably work with this headset. We will see, cause I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and be right back. All right, and last but not least for me, because I love these things, is let's see if my little aftermarket headphones here will go on. So, yep, they sure will. Just slides right into place. That is awesome news. So, yep, there we go. And just give that a little plug in, and then we'll... There it is, man. I, you know, we've got the head strap on there. I've got the VR Power 2 on there. I've got my headphones on there. Everything is all nice and wired and it, it, it feels formidable now. I mean, this headset, it definitely gained some weight during the process, but I think that's gonna be really nicely offset by the counterbalance here that the uh, VR Power 2 provides. So, you know, it did work well with the other two batteries that, that I had, but this was the clear winner because, I mean, it's just made for this headset. So, all right, let's go ahead and put it on my head and uh, take it for a test drive and see my thoughts afterwards. All right, here we are. We've got the headset fully assembled. It is on my head. I am in my Steam VR home, my swanky Gotham penthouse. Have not been here in a while. Man, I've missed that view. I, I, I just, I sometimes I would just come here to contemplate things like, hey, how comfortable is this headset? So um, I have actually been in this scene now for a good 30, 35, 40 minutes. And I, I got to tell you, Guys, this is really comfortable. I I thought it was going to be very very heavy, and I thought, oh man, my neck, my shoulders, my my forehead, I'm gonna get a headache, and you know something about the counterbalance. I I swear it it definitely makes all the difference in the world because now that the front and the back are are equally matched, and now that they're balanced, it, it definitely pulls the pressure away from both the front and the back of my head, and you know, all of a sudden, man, I don't feel like I've got to squint a, a lot. I, 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 if that makes any sense, like rumpling up my, my, my forehead a little bit to kind of keep the headset in place. It just stays nice and firm. And, you know, I, I got to say another thing about it. It, it, it. it does put a little more pressure right here at the very, very center part of your skull. That is where, where all of the weight is kind of being pulled on to now so as I said earlier just just a little better top strap a little little more padding up there and, and I think man boom that is gonna do it so that is gonna do it for me I, I am gonna recommend this strap guys if you want one I highly recommend it I'm um, you know go to the link that I have in the description use my code VR gamer dude get yourself some uh, some uh, discount there and uh, grab one of these. I, I don't think you will be disappointed. It is very moddable. It works with good, a bunch of different batteries. So highly recommend it. Highly recommend the VR Power 2. Just a shameless plug for them at the end of the video as well. Uh, but for me, that's it. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Don signing off.